thank you so much and let's get start our first tutorial the first thing i'm going to use here the unreal engine 5.1.1 and we are going to basically create this for game for a mobile version a mobile android version we are going to use some asset uh, from epic marketplaces and also we are going to use some our own customization asset okay so in the first of some tutorials we are going to basically set up the some level and we also do the development part at the middle of the every or our series we are going to develop or design the map at the last of our series we are going to basically update our ui and other stuff and the last uh, couple of uh, before ending our series we are basically set up the ads in our game and once this is done we are going to basically fix and build the full production level till at the end of this series and yeah so let's get to start and the first i'm going to use here the unreal engine 5.1 and we are basically going to use the unreal engine vehicle template because it's already have some engine configuration and some input configuration at here i'm going to choose the my game name that is the unreal engine racing s1 this is the season one at here i'm going to set here the target platform to mobile and quality preset to maximum because i'm going i need a good level quality and make sure if you want performance you can set it to scale then simply click on create the project now let's get to our first stuff that in this uh, tutorial we are basically learn to set up the project and we will be add some asset for our game once you have this map then you need to create some folder why do we need this folder it will be basically help us in our development and design too so i'm creating i'm mean, with later i'm just right letter a then with that i'm writing that blueprint so why th why this thing that it will be always if you write a b c d so it's always come in a serial and you whatever like suppose there's a tons of folder but for that from that you'll be find your folder more easily that's why then second we'll be again set it to a then i'm going i need a map folder so there i put all of my maps and then second uh, third i need some a asset folder so a double as asset so this will be my customized asset now we can change our color uh fuller color so let's set it to purple let's set this thing to a green color so it will be look great and then let's select the map to a red color okay yeah as you can see it's quite enough looking great at the map simply click on a level let's set up here the name map one and double click and open now the first thing you can set it uh, a landscape and at the landscape i'm going to set it the, in the component number four by four then simply click on create the uh, landscape now at the lights will be basically use the directional light and a skylight then we'll be set it to moveable and movable set it to lean uh, intensity to three and the sky light set it to real-time capture and even you can set it to uh, specular and real-time capture set it to desert hgr and then last uh, we need a uh, sky atmosphere so let's add a sky atmosphere okay so it will be look great yeah it's looking great now simply click on save now what we need a uh, we have a map now because we have a map now we'll let's go to in our project settings because we need to do some stuff in our project settings let's go to project settings and wow last one we need a player start location so from this location our player will be start let's go to project settings and the first in the maps and modes i'm going to set up our maps like this then we'll be in a support platform we will be set here or disable all of the platform because we don't need them we only need the android then we at the target platform whatever it's like okay leave it like that it's okay then at the rendering settings at the uh fast forward request when we set it to tta and then we'll be scroll down some and here we'll be set here uh the dynamic element to none to none and set here to 64 and then we'll be set the shadow map beta 2 will be set here to shadow map scroll down at here you find the ms uh sample count set set it to tta and then set it to non mx and once we have the like this that is enough for the project settings last we need to go to our windows and at the window we'll be set it to directs 12 to default and set it to sm5 share compile and visual studio 2022 and last i'm going to go in a plugins and search the ios and disable all of the ios plugin because i don't need any of ios subsystem or any stuff now we have this thing now we can simply restart our 
project simply click on uh, saved and restart now it will be restart our settings and the project config make sure if you are doing first time it can be compile some shader last i'm going to enable the settings go to settings and engine and we can set here to high and set the preview render to est1 so it will be look something like that okay you find something like that if you click on play you will be see something like that okay so 